three hours of SmackDown? Yes, please. The rumors online seem to be true. Monday Night Raw, once it lands on Netflix, that's when officially SmackDown will be three hours long. Now, I'm happy this happened for USA Network because they are paying much more money for SmackDown than they were paying for Raw. About, I think, $50 million extra dollars. So they were only going to get two hours of programming, lose NXT, which had a different deal, but then only get two hours of programming with SmackDown, paying more money. Mathematically, USA Network was going to be on the losing end of this deal. Luckily, the rumors are, of course, running rampant. The WWE has not confirmed this at all yet. But USA getting a three-hour SmackDown just makes sense. If Raw's going to Netflix and that's going to be two hours or possibly three hours, that's one thing. But the USA Network, they were losing out on this deal 100%. But uh, I'm excited for this. Friday nights, 8 to 11, prime time, baby. Competing with the random shows that appear on ABC and Fox and CBS. Friday night shows on primetime usually are a dead zone. But for wrestling fans, completely different because the demographic is obviously 100% different than watching one of your normal terrible comedy shows that used to be on Wednesday, but now they're on Friday because they only have one season left of the show and no one's really watching. And we have seen SmackDown has got a little stale recently. And again, nothing wrong with the way it's being booked, but it's been stale. Same storylines, same matches, same old, same old, same old. And so many stars that were drafted to SmackDown have been on the program. Tag team division seems non-existent except for Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. Everybody else, Bloodline, they're doing Bloodline things. They might be the tag team champions, but they're not doing much. So I'm very happy to see this going on right now. SmackDown, three hours, make it happen.